Hello, my little saints and sinners. You are watching Dog House 13. Welcome back, or welcome to. Um, we are talking about the seven deadly sins, if you can guess from the title. And we are going to be talking about the seven deadly sins of lust. The most sexual sin. Lust is one of those things that overdrive you, over motivate you to do sexual things, of doing wrong, doing everything in between of that. So, in history, lust was okay. Sex was perfectly fine. You were perfectly fine to have sex with anybody you want, anybody you cared about or you didn't care about. It was just a sexual act. And in Greece and Rome and everything in between, they did a lot of sexual things and together. They had a lot of orgies. They had a lot of um, sexual things with each other. Or anal, blah, 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 gay, lesbian, everything. A lot of kings had a lot of slaves that would sleep with, uh, made them sleep with the kings and blah, blah, blah. And they had to sleep with each other for pleasure of the king. So lust was kind of those kind of situations. And in Christianity, there there was people that was against um, lust. And there was people that were really into lust. They thought lust was not a problem. They did lust. There was a room for the sexual orgies and everything in Christianity. So it was kind of interesting of that because, you know, those things Christianity didn't like. So there had two different kinds of groups of Christianity. I can't remember what they're actually called, but, you know, there's those groups. And I think you can see my text, which is perfectly fine. I like that because I'm a whore. But, you know, and all that between. So Christianity had a lot of sexual things. And then they didn't like some, the whole group that didn't like it left and they did something else and they went to do their own kind of situation so that was quite interesting and throughout the times a lot of people try to stop it they try to just end the sexual desires so there was um people hid they they did it in hidden kind of situations and it was quite fascinating to learn that christianity was the most lustful kind of situation it's quite fascinating to learn that lust was the sin, it was, it was very interesting. <laughs> there is this, this, there is a um, chemical inside you called testosterone and something else I can't remember. But testosterone is a thing that kind of bring you to the sexual desire of it, bringing you to the sex moment of it. And the other, uh, the other thing, it brings you into love. It brings out the love kind of thing. And it kind of confuses, sometimes it kind of confuses each other because the testosterone can pull, uh, confuse with lust and the other gene can kind of confuse with the testosterone. So it kind of mixes with each other. And there's this thing that sometimes you have no control. It's just overwhelming and everything like that for the sexual desires. And it can cause a lot of mayhem. They say in this, um, when you are in hell, you... When you are in hell, you basically get swung around in this wind of force, and it kind of tells you, kind of tells you that the sexual desires that you had it was out of control. That's why you were flinging in the air with the wind, and it's quite fascinating because you know that was it, and that's kind of what sexual desire is. That's what kind of lust is. It's just the uncontrollable power of it, and that's what. It is. And then when you're in the purgatory of it, you are burning for your sexual desire. You are basically on fire for the burning of the sexual desire you have. And it's quite fascinating for that, too. In um, Hondi or something like that. I can't remember. I'm having brain fart. Sorry, it's very hot right now. I just can't really think. In Hindu, um, sexual sex, uh, lust wasn't a problem. Sexuality wasn't a problem. Sex wasn't a problem. They actually had a 68 kind of rules of positions that you can do that was still holy. So it was quite fascinating for that too. Who do I think that is the most lustful of all people in the world? I have to say Christianity. Christianity doesn't like to do, actually announce it, but they have done some sexual things and no one looks an eye. So Christianity, look into ya. So this has been my weird video of lust. I'm sorry that it's kind of really 
I do have everything. It's just I'm trying to remember what I had. Yes, last week. Last week I was um, injured. Well, not injured. A few days ago I was injured. Last week we had no power because of the rainstorm and everything happened, so I couldn't do it. But I think I did better makeup this week. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and help a little gay boy out. And tell me what kind of sin you are in the uh, comments below. Thank you very much. I love you all. Bye. Mwah.